Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The National Security Advisor Ajit Doval is on official visit to Washington DC from 30th January to 1st of February 2023. He is accompanied by various senior officials of Indian government as well as leaders from the industry. Now during the visit NSA interacted with USA policymakers stakeholders across government congress business academic and research communities on a range of bilateral regional and global issues of mutual interest now together with NSA Sullivan NSA Doval co-chaired the inaugural meeting of initiative on critical and emerging technologies which is also known as ICET at White House on 31st January 2023 now as a part of this initiative the government is going to have a lot of engagement in terms of promoting the joint co-production of defense equipments and this initiative is a result of commitment made in Tokyo May last year by US President Joe Biden and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to promote the joint production of defense equipment ranging from military jet engines long range artillery and armored infantry vehicles The NSA of both countries have formally established a high level initiative on defense and emerging technologies which is called as a strategic bet by two biggest democracies the aim is to deepen the strategic interest of both the countries the cooperation is also sought in areas such as semiconductors 5G and 6G wireless infrastructure and in commercial space flight including lunar exploration Now with the rising threat of Chinese invasion on Taiwan as we all know there's always an element of uncertainty looming over the semiconductor supply chain as Taiwan dominates the global supply chain of semiconductors now what US is looking for is to diversify the supply chain by helping India to grow its legacy chip making capabilities US also wants to continue the flow of top engineers that study and work in United States from India However, coming back to the defense part, the most critical technologies of ICT is going to be the fighter jet engine. Now, engine development has been the Achilles heel of Indian aviation sector and its demand is in billions of dollars. In the future, Air Force will be conducting 6 squadrons of LC Mark 2, 2 squadrons of Amka Mark 1. India will also induct its futuristic Ted BF fighter jet and all these fighters will be powered by GE F414 INS6 turbofan engine capable of generating maximum thrust of 97.9 kN with afterburner now GE Aerospace has applied for an export license of jet engine production and phased tech transfer in India The US government has reported that it is committed to expeditious review of the license application submitted by General Electric to the production of jet engines in India for indigenously manufactured light combat aircraft. G Aviation Vice President of Asia Pacific Region Military Systems Operation has also disclosed to Business World in an exclusive interview way back on 5th November 2022 that all technologies which was previously asked by government of india will be offered now what india has asked earlier it has sought for core engine technology or we can say hot section technology for jet engines under india us defense trade and technology initiative dtti but it was earlier turned down now general electric's 116 kN thrust derivative of f414 engine is called f414 enhanced engine will be the baseline for this offer of the cooperation now in 2017 us navy has awarded general electric a 114.8 million contract aimed to install this new powerful f414 variant to its existing fleet of f18 super hornet and e18g growler aircraft now this enhanced performance engine or ep variant includes a new core and a redesigned fan and compressor and this new version offers 18% more thrust the f414 ins6 which will power the s mark 2 and mk has thrust of around 22000 pound or 98 kN and thrust to weight ratio of 9 is to 1 the length of 154 inches and diameter of 35 inches the f414 enhanced engine has a thrust of 
26,000 pound or 116 kN and thrust to weight ratio of 9 is to 01. It also has a length of 154 inches, diameter of 35 inches. So the enhanced version has same dimension but more thrust as engine allows more airflow into its core. The airflow to the core of F404 INS6 is around 170 pounds per second but the EP variant allows 187 pounds per second. So looking at the specification, we can tell that engine is matching the AMCA Mark II requirement and no changes would require the AMCA structures to integrate it. And this will further allow the upgrade of Mark I squadron of AMCA and this Mark II with also a much powerful engine. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.